Microsoft Excel has actually got a couple different layers of protection that you can add to content. Earlier, we took a look at protecting cells within a worksheet. A couple of steps you got to go through. Now, I want to show off how you can protect an entire workbook. Not really the contents necessarily within the workbook, but the structure of the workbook. I want you to think about this. Inside of this example file that I have open in front of you, I've got this worksheet called the watch window. And on this worksheet, I've got a cell, cell B2, has a simple little formula in it, nothing big, but this formula references another worksheet. It references it by its name, formula auditing, right there. Well, what happens if somebody renames that worksheet or deletes that worksheet? What if you had multiple formulas that reference multiple worksheets and now you got people that are messing all around with the worksheets, their names, they're deleting them, and now what happens to your formulas? Ah, right? They're, they're now broken because that data is gone. It's missing. It can't find it. Let's take a look at a feature here called Protect Workbook. And this is a really simple feature. Take a look. I'm going to go up to my Review tab. I'm going to go underneath the Changes section. And just to the right of Protect Sheet, you got Protect Workbook. I'll give that a click. Now, inside of 2013, 2016, you've got a single option, Structure. If you're in 2010 of Excel or earlier, you've also got Windows. It's the lesser of the two. It's the, the lesser used option. I'm in 2013, so it's not an option for me here. Now, I'm going to keep Structure turned on. I'll put in a password. Just for uh, demonstration, I'll use password as my password. I'll hit OK. Ask me to confirm the password. Make sure you don't lose this. Caution, if you lose or forget the password, it cannot be recovered. I'll hit OK. And I've now protected the workbook structure. Now, what did it do? It didn't look like it did very much, right? Remember, this is the workbook. Take a look. Now, typically, if I come down to a worksheet tab, if I want to rename this, I'll give it a double click. Click, click. Oh, hey, workbook protected cannot be changed. If I right click on a tab, what I could used to do was add worksheets, delete worksheets, rename worksheets, move worksheets. I can't do any of that now. I'm now protecting the structure of the workbook itself. This will ensure that people aren't renaming and deleting stuff that I need within this workbook. You've nailed it down. It's final. Don't touch, right? Hands off. There's the data. You can work with that, but don't change the structure. One button press. It's up on your review tab. Protect the workbook and you're golden. That's simple. Now, if you want to reverse the process, Right, I, I know I, I, I want to be able to get back in there and add new worksheets or rename stuff and modify formulas. Well, great, no problem, as long as you have the password. Back to review, I'll click on Protect Workbook. Got to have the password. Drop that back in there. I'm now unprotected the workbook. If I right click a tab, I can now do all of those standard operations. So a couple of levels. You can protect the sheet itself, and in this case, you can protect the structure of a workbook. Try this out. One button press. Get your password in there. Don't forget the password. Protect your workbook.